Yes, Jack, the vacation will soon be over, and you'll be going back to school. You and Betty and thousands of other young people will get down to work in the business of preparing yourselves for the life ahead. And what good prospects the life ahead holds. You will live in finer homes than your forefathers ever dreamed of. You will travel in safety at speeds that would have staggered your grandfather's imagination. You will get to know the people of your world firsthand. Two weeks in Paris, overnight to Venice. These may be commonplace to you. As the science of agriculture advances, the world will be better fed and clothed and housed. You too will reap great harvests and you will know the benefits of the many industries pioneered by science. But along with the blessings of a scientific age, you will shoulder new and great responsibilities. You will have to learn all you can about today's technology so that you can do your share of the world's work. So that you can encourage research. So that you can heal the sick. so that you can build the bridges and buildings and highways of tomorrow. So that you can teach, inspire, and encourage those who come after you. The fields of agriculture, of electrical and chemical engineering, astronomy, pharmacy, radiology, nursing, Dietetics, all these and more require a basic knowledge of science. Some of you may be statesmen who must understand the impact and implications of science on society. You may well decide whether mankind is bettered or destroyed by the products of science. You will be ministers and social workers and psychiatrists who through your comprehension of the adjustments men must make in a scientific age, can help us to grow spiritually and socially as we grow materially. But apart from future benefits, you will find the various fields of science are absorbing studies right here and right now while you're in school. Science is fun. It helps you to learn, to know, and to appreciate. When you study science, you may go on field trips. You discover the marvelous interrelationships between all living things. You learn to read the history of the Earth as it is written in rocks and fossils. You find out what makes things tick. Everything from a molecule to a living organism. In the study of science is found the most useful and satisfying knowledge of man. Knowledge of his physical world, its past, its present, and its future. And in your moments of relaxation, now and in the years to come, you will find the study of science leading you into fascinating pursuits. Photography. Collecting. Why study science? Study science because you and Betty and the Nancys and Bills and Joes and Janes all over the country will find in the study of science a richer, more rewarding life. <laughs>